Alright, good morning again. Uh, I'm going to try to do this because it's kind of storming right now <clears throat> where I am. And I'm on my way to work, so I'm going to let my angels do their job. And protect me while I give you this message. <clears throat> When you feel far from God, you have to ask yourself why you feel far from God because the word says that he is near the brokenhearted. The word says that when you call on him, he will come and he will be there. So that tells me either you're not calling on him, you're not really brokenhearted, and there's some other issues going on. What I feel in my spirit right now is deliverance. We have to look at deliverance for what it is. Deliverance could be um, something that, that you're addicted to, that you're not willing to give up. You have to be willing to give up. You have to be willing to submit those things to God. The strongest spirits that keep you from God are the Jezebel spirits and the Leviathan spirits. That's pride and control. <clears throat> a lot of times we don't want to look at ourselves as having that. But let me give you an example. Long time ago, before I became new in Christ, before I became new in Christ, I wanted my husband to do the things that I wanted him to do. So I would manipulate, I would try to trick and, and we don't want to say that we're manipulating our husbands. We don't want to say that we're trying to trick our husbands. But the end result and the truth of the matter is that's what we were doing. You want him to come home or you want him to do things the way that you want him to do them. You want him to love you the way you want to be loved. Not the way God ordains him to love you, but the way you want him to love you. In those situations, control come in. Manipulation come in. You, you start to lie about certain things because you want him to think differently than, than the way he may be thinking on his own or you want him to do something differently the way he may be doing it on his own. If he's trying to get away from you, he doesn't want the manipulation. Man already has an issue because he's out of line of the will of God. But thankfully, <laughs> he can plan all he wants to, but God's will will prevail. It is your job, it is your duty as his help me to get in line in order for God to do that. You cannot say that you want your husband back or you cannot say that you want your husband to be that God, the way that God wants him to be and still be out of line. It doesn't work like that. So let's take a look at ourselves and, and I'm just going to include myself in this too because I don't want you to think that, that, that I'm just throwing it at you. When the Jezebel spirit is on you, she wants control. She wants control of the situation. She wants everything to go the way she wants it to go. She doesn't want the word of God. And, and it's basically false religion. I'm going to say it that way. False religion. Because she uses history. She uses her body. She uses things of the world in order to dangle in man's face. In order to get him to do what? she wants him to do. I'm sorry y'all, this is my song. <laughs> Self-deliverance is needed. It doesn't matter how long you've been in the church. It doesn't matter how long you've been married. It doesn't matter who you know or what you know or how often you read the Bible because a lot of sometimes certain spirits will hide in you until an appointed time. A lot of you have been married for what 10 years 20 years 30 years and and those spirits just they built up they built up they built up till now there's a disaster there's an interruption in what God ordained why is that because something came in and allowed it to happen something came into your marriage something manifested from your marriage and instead of God being first that thing came in and 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 wiped it all out deliverance is needed the only way you can get delivered from those things that you're going through is to submit to God wholeheartedly I don't even know how how to emphasize that you have to ask him 
take these things from me and you have to stick with it you have to ask him allow holy spirit to to keep me on the right track to be delivered from control to be delivered from judging to be delivered from everything that's keeping me from being in your will and and renounce those things and continue to be on that track you can't do it for a week and then go back you know when demons leave when they are evicted, they come back with more. And it's even harder to get rid of them the next time. So when you're doing self-deliverance, you have to constantly be in your word. You have to constantly seek God. You have to constantly pray. You have to constantly ask Holy Spirit to guide you and, and, and keep the word of God in you so that you can keep going. So that you can, you can continue on that path because true character will reveal itself patience will reveal the true character of somebody I'm gonna give you an example <clears throat> you didn't say that you're delivered and you want your husband to you know act a certain way the way God wants wants your marriage to be and I understand that so you do all the things that you need to do you start getting in your word you start going to church you start doing all the things that you feel that God wants you to do in order to be delivered but you don't see your husband changing after a month. You don't see your husband changing after two months. You don't see your husband changing after three, four, five months, six months. And it's almost a year now. And you like, okay, well, God, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. So when is he going to change? It's not about him. It's about you. He's not going to change until you are completely changed. You have to be completely changed. You have to be completely in Christ. They say, I'm not going to say they say, when you look at the word, it says that when you look in the mirror, you should see Christ in you. If you don't see that, then you're still working on deliverance. You're still working on changing. You're still working on submitting your whole life and you got to be crucified. And, and although that sounds like a harsh word, it's the truth. We have to give so much and you're going to be broken again. You're broken hearted. You're broken hearted with the situation with the marriage but you'll be broken so that God can come in and and fix those fragments and you're gonna be renewed you're gonna be molded into the masterpiece that he wants you to be and then you can be an example for your husband and it might take a year it might take two years but you have to stand on those promises you have to stand in the glory of God to where he honors your request and does what he needs to do for your husband but you have to be that example because you are in the home it's actually a lot of what i'm putting in the book that i'm writing right now it's, it's a prayer devotional but you have to be who god has called you to be first and and it's not fair i understand some people feel that it's not fair but for whatever reason god trusts you to do it first and you're the one he's working with first if it was in reverse, then that's something another man would be telling another man. But I'm talking to the women this morning. It's up to you <clears throat> to get in position to do what you need to do. Um, I pray this helps you this morning. <clears throat> Seek deliverance. Seek the Lord. You have to get alone and you have to ask him to come in and, and take those things away. And you have to stand on that and you have to pray on that. Shh keep going to him you keep going to him you keep praying to him and you continue to give him everything you can every day you're gonna cry <laughs> it's it's inevitable it's inevitable crying is cleansing if you can't cry you will <laughs> it's it's inevitable it's gonna happen because he's peeling back those layers that you've put on for so long over the years um i'll talk to you guys later